Right, time for some parenting on your favorite breakfast show this morning. Now, um, we've spoken about anxiety on the show before, but it's an issue that remains so prevalent in our society with many kids and adults struggling on different degrees of anxiety, which oftentimes can be highly concerning for those left unchecked. Now, this morning, family therapist and social worker Talia Ressel uh, joins us this morning in studio to share some very important tools to help you deal with your anxiety. Talia, thank you very, very much. Sure. Um, and your little parenting tool kit that you've, you've brought with us this yeah. morning. My Thanks for that. Play box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. box. All right, so let's just begin ourselves or begin by reminding ourselves about the prevalence of anxiety um, in our society, in our culture, especially for, for kids and adults. Yeah, look, I think anxiety is growing to be one of the, the leading, if not the leading, um, mental health yeah. concern among all ages, and we're seeing it pick up among young people especially. I mean, I just heard the most recent statistic I heard was around 30% of adolescents are experiencing anxiety. 30%? 30%. That's a huge number. Whereas diabetes is like six, I think six, seven percent. Wow. Yeah. I mean, we really are dealing with an epidemic here. What, what exactly happens to the okay. body when anxiety hits? So, so if we're going to think about for the body, it's like an alarm goes off. If you think you're alarm at home, you get the signal, uh-oh, panic, mm. danger, and your body floods with adrenaline. And you're getting ready to <coughs> fight or flight. But what's happening in our society is that these dangers are not actual real, it's not a bear in front of us, mm -hmm. it's not like a fire that we've got to run. So our bodies are flooded with the same intensity, but then we don't have that output for the energy. And it's, it's like a flooding, it's like you're drowning and yeah. you just can't catch your breath. Mm -hmm. Wow. So then let's talk about some of the tools that we can yes. use to help us deal with that anxiety. Yes. So, okay, so... <laughs> uh, let's delve into that little toolbox of yours. Before we get to the, some of these tools, what I do want to just tell you some of my five top tips. So number yes. five would be getting to, the first thing would be getting to know your anxiety. So actually, don't try and push it away. Mm. Get to know, I say to people, give it a name, give it a description, maybe a song comes up. So it's like, cool, okay, here he is, right. Okay, let me actually like, deal with this. Because okay. ignoring it's not gonna get it away. Okay, yeah, okay. So totally, like, almost like someone next to you on the couch. Number four, I would say, would be we do, we call it the grounding technique. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, so when that panic hits and I'm flooding, five things I can see. So immediately yeah. I can see on the table, I can see the TV. Four things that I can feel. I can feel my bum yeah. on the couch, I can feel this roughness, my shirt. Really thinking about that. Three things that I can hear. So yeah. noticing what's in my surroundings. Two things that I can smell. And you'd be surprised what you can pick up. And one thing I can taste. So that exercise makes me stay here and now because anxiety takes you to the future I or it see. takes you to the past. Oh, wow. Okay, wow, so that's... really, like, it's grounding. It's yeah. I'm here, mindfulness. Okay. I like that. Okay? I like that. So that's an easy one to do and to teach. Then number three would be a body scan. And a body scan, like, there's so many on YouTube and so forth, but in essence, we're getting comfortable. So maybe you guys want to get comfortable. Yeah, I'll yeah. Do it. I like getting one. comfortable. Okay. Let's see. I'm okay. comfortable. Close your eyes for one second. Okay, start breathing. <laughs> And you're going to start either your head or your toes. You can choose your direction. But you're going to think about a body part. So let's do your forehead. And you're going to tense it up as tight as you can. Tense, tense, tense. And take a deep breath. And release. And you relax the forehead. And now you're going to move to the eyes. And you're going to squeeze your eyes tight. And squeeze and take a deep breath. And release. And basically, I'm going to let you open your eyes now because we don't have so much time. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. But wow. as you move through the body, especially yeah. like the neck, the shoulders where we have tension, it gets you back into this moment again, mindfulness and seeing, because tension is all, anxiety yeah. is so mind body connected. Okay. Okay, so okay. we would scan so through scan your body. body like it can that. be in minutes, you do it with kids as well, like tense, 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 and relax. And yeah. You know, it's really helpful. Okay. And it takes their mind off. Just to exactly. off that, that so, moment, yeah. Because exactly like you're saying, like, take the mind off, because anxiety, your, your brain likes to run, and then it snowballs, and then this and that, and what about this, and then that's going to happen. And what we want is a place for your mind to sort of hook onto, yeah. so that that's where it can focus. So if it's yeah. focusing on a body scan, the other noise starts to quieten a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is important if you think about you know taking kids to school and they have that anxiety and just do something exactly. very quickly with them beforehand. Exactly. It will definitely help them. Okay. And they don't put the link between body and mind. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, yeah. Usually it's a sore tummy. Okay, now into my, my box of little tools. So I want you guys, let's take out the main one. This is fun. Yeah. I like this one. <laughs> okay, so you're going to see there's different fidget things. Really, I mean, it can be, uh, I oh. happen to have a few, like, I mean, it can be simple as bubble wrap and fidget toys. But what, why I like that, guys, is because, put your hand in, it's nice, that goo. Oh, can I? Yes, it's just sticky patty. Oh, 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 I didn't read this uh, crazy, no. this, this I find very thinking. interesting, because so, I'm scared if I let my hand, uh, okay, No, fine. no, don't, don't worry. I don't know how to get it back Don't now. worry. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> this is causing me anxiety. <laughs> I'll put it back. Oh, okay, we're going back. Yeah. Fantastic. But yeah, great. pass it to me so that you can focus on something. Okay, wait, I got it. There you got, got, it. got, it. got it. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> what an achievement. You see, aren't you calm now? What an achievement. Yes. That's, oh, that's man. good. That's but, good. But guys, what? remember we said that fight or flight and all that energy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Now, this gives us something to do with that energy just with your hands. Rather than, have you seen everybody biting their nails, picking mm. skin, pulling hair, tapping? Do either of you do toe tapping or the leg? sort of wiggle, okay. it's all that nervous energy. Yeah. So here we're just giving it a different, remember clicking a pen? Yeah. Okay. Yes, so that's also... That's just that energy coming out of there. Okay. Just sure. finding yourself. A oh, Rubik's right. Cube, perhaps. Try this. A Rubik's Cube, absolutely. What do you, what do, you do with this? Do you, just open it's it, you'll just, pick out first. It's just to fiddle with. Oh, get it back, <laughs> get it back. <laughs> There you go, magic. But Listen, I mean, bubble yeah. wrap. But wait, la my most important one, because I don't know how we're doing for time. We have run, okay, oh, we've got like no, 30 seconds. I, exactly yeah, one, one more time. Most one important thing. one, because it's about the breathing, okay? With anxiety, we hold our breath, we squeeze in, we get totally tense. Something fun that I like to do with kids, but adults can do it too, okay. the breathing. You're gonna take a deep breath in, and while you're breathing in, get your bubbles ready, you and then long breath out. Can I ask you to give it a try? Huh? Okay. I'm so still struggling with this bad in. boy. This is oh, wait, wait. For anxiety and breathe out as long as you can. No, come. Tiny bubble. There you go. But now, look at that long breath. That's really good. Okay, these are very, very good techniques to help. But it's getting you to the breathing. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Just, I like the colour. <laughs> I, well. I stole from my daughter. Of course you did. did thank you, you very much, right. Ty. That's, that's cool, eh? the achievement yeah, yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Listen, there we go. Some, some easy ways to just be mindful, to be in the moment and address the anxiety that Katlejo is currently experiencing. No, 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 I'm trying to show you something. <laughs> but I have put Finish. them all in my blog. So if you go to my website, you will see the blog with all those tips in more detail. Excellent. Thank you, Kaya. Thank you very much. Look, look, before we go, look, look. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Very cool.